Here's a few minutes on phasing. The Revit phasing tools fundamentally come down to these three tabs in the phasing dialog box. Here's where you define the phases that you use. Notice this is a stock template. Existing phase and a new construction phase. There isn't a demolition phase in between here. Revit really doesn't need one in order to show you the difference between different phases of construction. Then if you could go to phase filters, these are the things that govern the four states of being that Revit has. It's either new, existing, demolished, or temporary as far as Revit's concerned. Notice there's no future concept here. Uh, if we go to graphic overrides, these are the ways things should look. So the combination of these three things and then how you interact with elements and views in the project define how these things show up. Now, what I did is I created three sets of views, one focused on each phase of construction. The new floor plan currently has a phase setting for new construction and a phase filter value, which is what we just saw in that other dialog of show previous and new. And then I have a view called existing. And this one is set to show existing but show all. Or it could be set to show none in terms of phase filters. It's kind of immaterial at this point. <coughs> but if I just leave it show all. The idea is that if you're going to document an existing building, then the intention is that you start sketching what you need. And I'll just keep it real simple for the sake of ease description. You start modeling the building in the existing phase, and then everything that you create is assigned to that phase. Now this wall, for example, is assigned to phase existing. Phase created value is set to existing for the door. Now if I transition to my demolition view, the views settings are set to new construction as a phase, and the phase filter has been changed to previous and demo. This means that if I use my manage tab and my demolish hammer that I can demolish these walls and the door as a result. All Revit did when I clicked on that hammer tool was allow me to assign the phase demolish setting for the wall to the current phase, the phase of this view. Now if I were to take these three elements here and change their phase demolish setting to the existing phase, the same phase they were created, if I go to the existing floor plan, the demolished things here are actually temporary. Again, this goes back to this idea of phase filters and graphic overrides. So graphic overrides, temporary objects are using a slightly different poche and color. Phase filters are saying, you know, for certain conditions, you're going to override the graphics of temporary states, and you're going to override demolished, and you're going to override existing, but you're going to show new work as if it were complete by object, by object standards uh, requirements. And then so you just change each of these to one of three choices in order to get the phases to behave. <coughs> so when I go forward in time to new construction, this current view is assigned to new construction, of course, and the previous filter is set to new this time, which means de demolished and temporary items are not displayed. Now let me go back to the existing phase, leave these guys. Sorry, I've got tags in here. I don't really want the tag. Change this phase demolished to none. Well, actually, if I change it to new construction, I'll see that it's demolished in the demo plan, right? So there it is. So new construction. New construction allows me to draw in a different design. And then you see the contrast between them. <coughs> when you look at a 3D view and you change your phase filter, previous and demo, just previous, demo and new, show all. You can see how the new work contrasts the other. So functionally, it's really not necessary to have an extra phase in the middle. We tend to think of that as a requirement because we think of going in and doing demolition as a phase of work or a scope of work. But the reality is, is no, dem no demolition happens until someone's agreed to do some new work. So the graphic concepts in Revit are aligned with that thinking. 
you have an existing building and then you do new construction and part of the new construction scope of work is some demolition and that's true if you go into a room and you you choose to uh, demolish part of it but at the same time somebody else is getting ready to paint on the other side of the, of the same wall perhaps <coughs> okay hope it helps